I just want to put on toasty socks, Christmas pajamas, and just chill on the couch watching The Office all day. Like this is what this bowl gives me right now. <laughs> beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Sega Mizguna so in today's vlog we're gonna be making chili for dinner so if you're interested to see how I make this quick and easy chili recipe continue watching but before we get started you already know I have to give my post notification shout outs to the following people right over here thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing to my channel it really means a lot if you want a shout out like them all you have to do is click the notification bell let me know you're a new subscriber in the comment section down below and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's vlog so I'll be doing shout outs every single day up until Christmas all vlogmas long so if you guys want some love let me know in the comment section down below if you're new to the channel all right so without further ado let's get started so if you guys are new to my cooking vlogs I like to leave all the ingredients all the groceries that you need in the description box below so make sure you guys check that out so I'm gonna be using my handy dandy instapot if you don't have an instapot it's totally fine you can also make this recipe on the stovetop as well but for today's vlog I'm gonna use my handy dandy instapot I actually got this for Christmas a couple of years ago so let me know if you guys have an instapot at home in the comment section down below because I'd love to know if you guys want to see more instapot kind of recipe videos but anyways we're gonna be using our instapot today and I'm gonna get started with uh, sauteing our beef but I'll also leave a link to the one that I have as well, so make sure you guys check that out. So I'm gonna select the saute option on my Instapot to get us started, and I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes for it to warm up. So I'm gonna get started with adding our beef to the Instapot. So for today's chili, I'm gonna be using lean ground beef, but you can always substitute the beef for ground turkey or ground chicken, whatever your preference is. I personally really like ground beef, so that's what we're gonna be using today. Take my wooden spoon and make sure the ground beef is nice and sauteed. I'm not adding any seasoning just yet because I am going to be straining this because um, I don't want all of uh, the fat for this recipe. So I'm going to let this cook down, but in the meantime, I'm going to start chopping up my onions. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using one yellow onion. So I just gave my onions a quick rinse, so I'm just going to dice them up. Okay, so do you guys see how annoying my cutting board is? Do you see how like it's moving around? So a kitchen hack that I like to do is I like to take a cloth or a wet paper towel. I've showed this like trick before on my other cooking vlogs, but I like to kind of place it on top and it's a lot more sturdier. So I'm just gonna continue to chop up my onion. So my onions are good. I'm just gonna check on the beef. Let me turn on the light here, actually. There we go. So I'm just gonna let this cook down a little bit more and then we're gonna strain the liquid. So do you guys see that liquid? Do you guys see that? Yeah, we're just gonna strain that out. So we got all the fat out. So I'm just going to add our onion. So I'm just gonna stir that in. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my garlic press and I'm going to add some garlic to our chili. This is like the best thing. So I'm just gonna scrape that off there. There you go. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Honestly guys, my mouth is watering. And this is like the best 
comfort food. Like there was so much snow in Toronto when I woke up this morning that I was just like, okay, what am I gonna do? Cause I did not want to leave the house. And like, I feel chili is like the perfect meal to have when it's like a snow day or like it's too cold to go outside or you just don't want to order in and you kind of want to just chill and relax at home. Like I feel chili's like that meal. Oh, it smells so good. And we haven't even seasoned anything yet. Okay guys, let's get started with adding in our seasoning. So to start, let's add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You guys already know my favorite spice is cumin. So I'm gonna add a bit of cumin. I'm also gonna be adding a bit of smoked paprika. And I'm also gonna be adding some chili seasoning mix. So I'm just gonna add that. Oh my God, guys, it smells so good. So I'm also gonna be adding one can of dark red kidney beans, but I like that this particular brand didn't have any uh, salt added to it. So I'm just gonna open this up, give it a quick rinse and add it to our pot. Guys, it smells so good. So I'm also gonna be adding a bit of beef broth to our pot here before we add our tomatoes. I'm also gonna be adding about two cups of diced tomatoes. So that should be about one can of tomatoes. Just going to slowly stir that in. Oh, it's gonna slowly cook down guys and oh my goodness. And then we have like a feast. That's gonna last for a while too, so. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So I'm just gonna give this a quick stir before I put on our lid and it's gonna cook down so nice. So I'm just gonna give it a taste to make sure I don't need to add any more seasoning. Mm. Oh my God, okay, it's perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop the lid on. So I have it set on the pressure cooker for about 15 minutes and then after the 15 minutes is up, I'm going to release the steam off the pressure cooker and then I'm gonna let it set for about 10 minutes and then we're ready to plate. Like that's it, that's all you gotta do. I haven't actually showed the Instapot on my channel just yet. I wanna see if you guys would like more Instapot recipes. Let me know because you guys already know I love to cook and I love to share quick and easy recipes that you don't have to worry about and that's why I love to make chili. Like it's throw everything in the pot, leave it alone, do some other tasks. The one thing I really love about chili, you could make this in bulk and actually store it in your fridge or in the freezer for a few weeks and you have meals on the go. So before I start cleaning, I just want to point out that I picked up a beef broth that has less sodium than like the regular beef broth. So be on the lookout for that because I find that regular broth is just way too salty. So if you're kind of monitoring your salt intake, I would reach for either no salt or just less salt. So I am so hungry guys. I, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell when I'm hungry. I'm like ready to eat this entire pot. And then we're gonna top it off with avocado and cheese. Oh, it's gonna be so good. But I'm going to clean the mess behind me. This, this is a bit of behind the scenes of how I film <laughs> my cooking vlogs. This was the uh, tripod that I mentioned in yesterday's vlog. I'll link it again in this video in case you guys are interested, but this is like the best thing. It is so lightweight. Oh, it's like the best, but but when we're back, I'm gonna show you guys a delicious bowl of chili. I can't wait, I can't wait. So here is the close-up to my chili. 
oh, I can't wait to sink my teeth into this. So for tonight, I decided to do the avocado and cheese and I might have um, some toast on the side, but look at how delicious this looks. You know what? I'm also going to add a bit of hot sauce as well. There we go. Let's try this out. Oh my god. This tastes so good. I'm gonna try it with the avocado. Oh my god, guys. This is something that you have to try. Like, I just wanna wrap myself up in a blanket. More specifically, agave, but like, I am ready. Oh my god. This is like pure hibernation. I'm not leaving the house, I'm just eating chili all day. <laughs> well, not all day, you guys get what I mean. Mmm. <laughs> this is really good. I'm at least having two bowls and I really need to get ready for bed, but... Oh my god, I almost forgot to do the outro. Let me do the outro real quick. Mm. So I'm gonna end today's vlog right over here. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys wanna see more cooking vlogs, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys want a shout out, all you have to do is click the notification bell. Let me know you're a new subscriber in the comment section down below and I'll give you guys a shout out on tomorrow's video. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's upload. Bye.